Um, hi, I am Clementina. I am the UX UI designer of Aurora. And today I'm going to talk about the benefits of usability testing. So uh, usability testing is a really important part of the UX design approach. It allows us to find pain points and understand what users struggle with in order to determine where issues are coming from and how we can solve them to improve our design. Okay, so don't judge me, this one is a bit long. Uh, to do that, we start by writing a scenario of actions we want the users to do during the test. We give them instructions and we observe them as we take notes. Uh, these tests can be done either on web prototypes or even on paper prototypes during the early stages of design. So here we focus primarily on the sharing options in Nextcloud, and we perform the test on the Nextcloud 25 test platform. So the test is being recorded, so we can go back to it as many times as necessary. And the user is encouraged to express themselves out loud and give as much feedback as possible, especially if it's negative, because that's what we need to improve the design. One thing I like to do before starting is reassure the user that we're not testing them, we're testing the product. There's no wrong answers, it's okay to feel lost or stuck. And we do not talk or answer any questions during the test so as to stay neutral. Unless they want us to repeat the instructions, of course. And once we're done, we analyze the results and we are left with factual and unbiased data so that we can improve our design. Um, so at Aurora, we are in a pretty favorable position to um, get clients to help us with those tests. We encourage them to collaborate on the product and some of them are really interested in it. So we ended up performing 12 user tests with various clients and employees, ranking from beginners to advanced Nextcloud users, but all of them were non-IT. So here are the results. Uh, each line represents a client and a user, sorry, and each column represents an action that they had to perform. So the numbers at the bottom indicate how much of a struggle an action is. So they are ranked from zero to three. So zero being no problem at all, one being a success but with hesitation, two success with difficulty, and three failure to complete the task. So essentially, the higher the score, the higher the struggle. Uh, now I'm going to present two of the main issues that came out of these tests. Uh, please keep in mind that these tests were performed on Next 25, so some things might already have been changed or fixed. Um, here's the first one. So this one is about um, the sharing icon. So you can see uh, on the right here for the, the first folder, the accounting one, the sharing icon ends up disappearing and being replaced by the little avatar of the user that shared the folder with the person. So what happens when you ask a user to share the accounting folder is that they get kind of confused and they hesitate uh, on where to click. So actually 11 out of 12 of them had at least some hesitation on where to click to reshare this folder. And the second one is about the guest option. So this one is here way at the bottom of the options when you want to share a folder. So for most users, it's either uh, unheard of or it's really hard to find, if not impossible. So this one was a huge struggle in general. Uh, and now to finish, I'm going to show you one of my design proposal to uh, fix the sharing icon issue. So my solution to that would be, so you can see same folder here, to leave um, the sharing icon essentially. It would, it would be a permanent one, it would never move, so you can see that they're practically all aligned. And then the avatar of the person that shared the folder moves a bit to the left. Um, I think there's much uh, enough space to do so and it would help uh, prevent confusion for a lot of users. So that's my solution. Uh, thank you for listening and if you have any questions you can come see us afterwards. Thank you.